Hi everyone, as an introduction to our project which is programmed car washing system as the technology is updating it's making our life simpler. The world is inclining towards quickest innovation. The thought rang a bell to make a task about programmed car washing system. Our objectives first to apply a knowledge of PLC in designing an automatic car wash system and second is to design and simulate the ladder diagram of this system. The car numbers is rapidly increasing by the time. This amount of cars are daily exposed to dust which require them to be washed from time to time. Thus the car's wash system are used increasingly and it is a manual system which requires many workers to mentor its operations and to do the process. As for a score, this project is mainly about the use of PLC and the designing an automated car wash system. This project covers the main part which is the software that involves the design of leader diagram and the choice of components that could be used. The designed automated car wash system covers two types of washing model which are normal and touchless wash. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullah. We have used interlock as our activation for the system. So firstly we have to turn on the interlock and then we have to select which type which type of uh, wash for the car uh, option one or option two if we choose option one uh, counter zero will uh, have to be uh, entered for four tokens and also uh, directly will move a zero of zero 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 one to h zero point zero zero so before we proceed we do have first to uh, enter two tokens for counter zero and then counter zero is uh, being activated and then we have to come to sensor one. Sensor one will basically activate uh, uh, the car inside indicator and it will also uh, do a three second delay before the conveyor. So as we can see here, delay for three seconds and then conveyor is on and this to indicate the car is inside will still on until the car is out. After that we have to come to sensor two. Sensor two will basically do a water and soup for five seconds. As we can see it here, water and soup for five seconds and then it will uh, go back to the conveyor on. After that, we have to move to uh, sensor, uh, sensor, uh, sensor 3, but sensor, uh, sensor 2 has to be off. The previous station has to be off first, and then sensor 3 has to be on. Uh, and then we have to do uh, the conveyor off, pressure is on for five seconds, and then conveyor is on again. So after that, sensor 4 is, will, only function in, uh, will only function in option 2, uh, so we have to move directly to sensor 5 but before that we have to turn the previous station first and sensor 5 has to be on so a uh, sensor 5 will actually do uh, turn off the conveyor and it will do uh, water for 5 seconds and then dryer for another 5 seconds and after that the conveyor will be on so lastly we have to turn off previous station and sensor 6 has will uh, basically turn off the conveyor and it will also turn off car is uh, inside and it will uh, reset the uh, move uh, or the shift register it will also reset the uh, counter if option 2 has been selected and counter 1 has been entered with three tokens we come to sensor 1 directly with the same process as option 1 and then we go to sensor to the same process as uh, sensor 1 but then here sensor 3 will not function because it functions only for option 1 so we have to turn off sensor 2 and move directly to sensor 4 so after sensor 4 the only difference is the wash and wheel and then after the wash and wheel go to sensor 5 and the same process as option 1 model of PLC control mini car wash system has been presented this miniature automatic power system is controlled by a conveyor to move from one part to another part token machine water and food supply brush and dryer there are two options the user to choose either normal wash or touchless uh, wash mode the driver must must select either one before tokens are inserted 